Hello and welcome. Let's look into some of the commonly encountered sonographic artifacts. Here is a list of sonographic artifacts which have been described in grayscale imaging. The list is provided for your reference. The detailed description of these artifacts is beyond the scope of this presentation. I will discuss only the artifacts which are encountered in everyday practice of musculoskeletal sonography. Let's look into the shadow. Shadow is lack of echoes from structures deep to an object with a high attenuation rate. There seems to be a calcification in the tendon with a high attenuation rate. So what are the characteristics of a shadow? It's hypochoic or anechoic. It's hypochoic or anechoic and deep to the structures with abnormally high attenuation rate. Here is a structure with an abnormally high attenuation rate and it prevents the visualization of the anatomy deep to the structure which produces this shadow. So you are unable to see these structures which are deep to the structure which has produced this shadow. Enhancement and enhancement is another term which is totally opposite to shadow. What happens with enhancement is a hyper aquatic appearance of the tissues due to lack of attenuation of the sound beam during propagation. There is a sound beam which goes through this liquid media and it does not get attenuated and you see the structures deep to it which are hyper aquatic. There is another structure which is a cystic structure and you see the structures, so you see this like a um, torch light, you see this hyper aquatic appearance of these structures deep to this low attenuation media. So the more sound energy returns to the transducer from the tissues, the deep to the low attenuation media and the returning echoes are amplified based on the depth assuming a constant rate of attenuation. The machine thinks that the sound wave came from this depth and has been weakened as it travels based on the constant rate of attenuation by the tissues not knowing that the sound has not been weakened because of a different media which is not weakening the sound. So it applies an amplification so the structure becomes very very bright. So the structures such as full bladder, cyst, abscess or a joint effusion result in enhancement of the deeper tissues due to the lack of attenuation by the fluid media. Reverberation artifact. The reverberation is caused by bouncing of the sound beam between two strong specular reflectors positioned parallel to the beam axis. So the beam axis is in this direction. So a strong specular reflector will cause reverberation of the artifact. So you see the multiple echoes result in multiple equally spaced artificial reflectors at increasing depths parallel to the main axis of the sound beam. All tissues between the reverberating specular reflectors will be replicated. Let's look into another important artifact called anisotropy. Anisotropy is an angle dependent artifact of a specular structure. Fibers are echogenic when perpendicular to the sound beam but hypoechoic or anechoic when oriented oblique giving a false impression of pathology. Tendons are strongly anisotropic and anisotropy of tendons helps differentiate tendons from surrounding fat when the echogenicity of fat approximates the tendons. Here in this clip you see the transducer and you see this flexor tendon of the wrist and when the tendon is not oriented in a perpendicular direction to the sound beam it looks hypochoic and anechoic giving a false impression of pathology but when it is straightened you see all the fibers in very clearly oriented fashion along the face of the transducer and in a direction at 90 degrees to the sound beam. Cartilage interface sign is another important sign usually seen during examination of the shoulder. The cartilage interface sign is a hyper echoic sign at the interface of the hyaline cartilage and liquid media. Cartilage interface sign is indicative of a fluid filled space above the hyper echoic signal due to tendon tear. 